Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. everyone, Luke Immerse Prime here. So it is time for a match big unboxing and review today. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be unboxing another thing in the DC Motorverse Tall and by McFarlane Toys, actually companies all the time. And this is for a figure of a DC anti-hero associated with Batman. And this is as he appears depicted in the video game Batman Arkham Knight. And as you probably guessed by the thumbnail and from the title of the video, the figure I'm going to be unboxing is for, is for none other than Red Hood. So here he is, guys, as he appears based on Batman Arkham Knight. And yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this figure. So in, in the box is, is a figure with some accessories, some like some sort of like firelight gadgets and also alternate hands. Yeah. Wonder why it didn't come with like his guns or anything like that. Pretty confusing, really. I mean, yeah. So it wouldn't be cool if he had guns. I think on the back there, there's a card and um and there is also a stand. Yeah, there's, there's a stand there behind his legs. So yeah. On the back here is a pretty nice artwork of him as he appears based on the game. And on the spine here it says Red Hood Batman Arkham Knight. And there's DC Motorverse. And there's my Valen toys up there. And the 22 moving parts, nice. On the other spine it just says Red Hood, there's nothing really new. You've it just it does have all the figures really. So when it comes to Red Hood as a character, guys, well, I definitely really love him as a character. He's one of the anti-heroes of all time. And my favorite portrayal of him is Jensen Ackles from the animated movie Batman Under a Red Hood. And when it comes to Arkham Knight, I have, like, mixed thoughts on, on Red Hood in that game. For example, I, I, I kind of didn't really like him as Red Hood when he's unmasked as the Arkham Knight in the game. Because I felt he was very whiny and annoying, when, when, especially when you have to fight him. I thought he was very annoying, and that's not who Red Hood is supposed to be. He's supposed to be a character he's supposed to feel like Batman. And that didn't really work for me in the story mode of Arkham Knight. But I will say, well, in the downloadable content for a game where you play as Red Hood, I thought he was much better in that, in that DLC, voiced by Troy Baker. I think Troy Baker did, did a much better job in that DLC than, than in the story mode, in my opinion. Um, Because, yeah, I think he, he handled Red Hood much better when he was in the DLC to me. And that's what I'll say. But Jensen Ackles remains my favourite Red Hood to this day, though. That's what I'll say. So, without further ado, let's get a big open, shall we? So, there's three pieces of sanitary on the top. So I'm going to cut them with some scissors to make it easier for me. So, here we go. That's one, don't let's do the other. There's another. another and then next up uh let's get the figure out now so inside a plastic containing here is the figure um secured with all the accessories there which looks really good to with the security now for um the background so i'm gonna take it out now and as expected from a dc motorverse figure it's the same generic background really there's nothing really new I was hoping they'd have like a background from, from the Arkham Knight game, the Red Hood, to have like a background, but sadly not. But, on the other hand, so here is the, the, here's the stand first of all, guys, as well as the cards. So, as I said, it's the same generic stand reel. There's nothing really new there for a stand at all. So here the stand is just the same as the other stands I've unboxed before. You haven't done anything new, no Red Hood logo, Arkham Knight logo, just the same one, really. Disappointing. On the plus side, though, here is the card, which looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, so the, the picture is, is the same as the back of the box that I just showed then. On the back, here's a database, which I'm going to read. So, the real name, of course, is Jason Todd. Since vanquishing the Arkham Knight persona, Jason Todd was able to lay his vengeance against Batman to rest and begin to heal the damage that was inflicted on him in, in Arkham Asylum. It was during this recovery that Red Hood was born. Now, while he is on, once... He is once again aligned with his former mentor in wanting to rid Gotham City of its criminal contingent. Jason Todd's odds put odds liberty for capital punishment will forever keep him at odds. So yes, yeah, so all that. So now let's get a figure out, shall we? So let's, so let's get out the accessories first of all. They look the easiest one to get out. So I think he's holding the, the accessories in place, which is good for security. So 
Here's an alternate hand, which is opened up. Because I think on the figure of the hands are fists clenched together. So, yeah. And here's your one. So, yeah, you, got, you get right and left hands, which are opened up a little bit. So, you can put accessories in them. So, I'm going to take out the accessories now to show you. So, here's uh, the first one. Now, um, so, this looks pretty cool, really. Um... So, so like you know like a blast of fire here it could act like like a shield or something yeah it looks pretty cool i don't remember if you use it in the game or not in the dlc i have no idea i'd have to check the clips to, to see really so and here's every other one so this looks pretty nice too yeah uh like a bit of a streak of fire really huh and the figure appears to be secured by one piece piece of, of um, rope. So let me uh, cut that now. So I've got some scissors here. Make it easier for me. There we go. Okay, so... Um, and now here is the figure. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, um, so... They did a very good job with you how, how he appears in Arkham Knight. Did a really good job of it, really. Really good job. So yeah, it looks uh, really good. Um, so, in terms of um, supportability, so arms can go 360 degrees if you want them to, which is really cool. Um, they're quite secured though, so they're not too loose. They can go to a side like this too, as well. They're also secured for that. Legs can also move forward too, but they're also quite secured as well. Can go to the back too, as well, but they're secured. Torso can also twist a little bit as well, but not too much though. And... Um, the head also as well can move a little bit, but I think the um, the red hood is, you know, preventing it from going all the way, really. But, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. So, elbows can also fold as well pretty decently as well, which is good. So, yeah, they're, they're nicely secured. And legs can also do the same too, as well. Very good. Now, when it comes to accessories, I, I have no idea how you're supposed to put them in his hand or not. But, yeah, let me give it a try. Like, do you, what, what do you do like this? Okay, I suppose that's cool. Hmm, okay. So, so maybe it looks like this or something. I mean, I have no idea how it's supposed to actually look, guys, so please forgive me, but this is how it... This, this is how I managed to put the accessories in, in his hands so far. But yeah, it looks uh, pretty all right, really, nonetheless. Um, so... So yeah, that's a figure, guys, and they did a very good job designing how he appears based on the game. Looks really good. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty good figure, nonetheless. I was kind of hoping they'd have more of his weapons, more of his accessories. Would, would, would have been cool if he had those, really. Maybe even his sniper rifle from, from Arkham Knight game would be great, since he, of course, uses it, of course, in the final act of the game as well, when he's, of course, coming back to save Batman. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a cool figure, nonetheless, though. Um, so guys, this is me doing my unboxing of Red Hood from DC Multiverse Tall and by McFarlane Toys, as he appeared based on the video game Batman Arkham Knight. Um, so you know, drill guys, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave a in the comments what you guys think of this figure Red Hood, if you have it, let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you think about getting it, I'd recommend it if you, you like Red Hood as a, as a character of the Arkham Knight game, or DC figures, or, DC, or, or the DC Multiverse Toy line, or, or McFarlane Toys in general, to most in my opinion. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe on this kind of future. If you would like to be a member, you can also use my piece of that in the description. And I'll see you all later.